If you're like me and are very passionate about movies and see a lot of movies, you probably have a lot of opinions on said films. And you probably have heard at some point or another, man, do you like anything? Believe it or not, I've heard that question quite a few times in my life and I always have good retorts for them. I always have a comeback. Like Doc Holliday, I quickly draw my gun with a response and that typically is listing off several movies I liked from the very year they're asking me that question. For instance, Hocus Pocus 2 hits Disney Plus and you say, wow, that movie was terrible. Then the person you're talking to says, oh really? Me and my family happen to like it a lot. Do you like any movies, Adam? I'm glad you asked, Terrence. Let me list off several that I saw this year alone. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, a beautiful film celebrating life and all the little nuances that come with it. The Batman, a little long, a little bit like Seven, another film I love, but still, a great new start for the hero. A great start for Gotham again in the Dark Knight. How about Top Gun Maverick? A blockbuster, a fantastic film for the whole family. I love it. I want to be a pilot now and kill things. Maybe The Northman, an artsy film that's a revenge story to its core about a Viking who's not a hero. He's not a villain. He's nuanced. He's, he's different. He's layered. It's a great movie. It's beautiful to look at. The sound design is impeccable. There, I just threw out a bunch of movies off the top of my dick. And know what their response is now? Stunned silence. And also, I've never heard of or seen any of those movies, except for, of course, Top Gun Maverick. Because here's the honest truth. Anyone that knows film or watches a lot of them would never ask you the question, do you like anything? Because they know it's a bad faith question. They know you see a lot of movies every year and have a lot of opinions on film. They know that you study it. They know that you worship at the altar of cinema. So you want a movie to speak to you, to reach to your very core and pull at your soul and rip it out and show it to you. Or maybe you just want to watch stuff blow up and that's fine too. Because unlike those people who see maybe one or two movies a year, at the theater and a handful more at home, most of which are probably reruns they've seen a million times. You have seen like 100 new films this year alone, most of which at the theater because you love the experience, even if it has been dwindled over the years, even if it has soured a little bit, you're still there. You're still supporting the industry you grew up with and love. Outside of that, you also have seen a bunch of new stuff on streaming and you've watched some classics that you maybe missed or want to rewatch and study and appreciate in a whole new light as you grow older and wiser, hopefully. Meanwhile, these people put a film on in the background, half watching, chuckling on occasion, and thinking, yeah, that was a great movie. Because they're not there to get lost in it, they just wanted to pass some of their time away. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. There are a lot of different industries with a lot of different critics that I can respect and appreciate and know nothing about because I am basic when it comes to them. But take pride in your knowledge. Take pride in your taste and your criteria for judging what makes a good movie good and a bad movie bad. And don't let people come into the comments and say like, you make a movie or you shouldn't be able to criticize this or why don't you just shut up? This movie took a long time for the person to make and lots of talented people are there. You're not talented. Fuck you. You gonna go up to Chef Ramsay? You gonna go up to Gordon Ramsay and say you don't know anything about food? You didn't make it? Shut up. You can't tell me that this McDonald's isn't good or that it's trash. I shouldn't have to watch a whole movie to understand that. A food critic goes out for a meal, takes a bite, and knows instantly whether or not it's going to be worth their time. They don't have to finish the whole meal to know the rating they're going to give it, the review they're going to give it. Just like a movie. If I spend an hour investing my own time into watching something, I have a pretty good idea of where I'm going to sit when this thing's said and done. Because it visually might not be up my alley. It might not have a score that sits well with me. The story might be ass in my opinion. And that's okay. If someone else likes it. I like a lot of bad food. I try not to eat it anymore, but 
Someone would look at me and say, man, you have horrible taste in food or music. Fine, fair. I don't claim to be an expert at it or I don't claim to really have a hard stance on it. But I can tell you why I like that stuff. We can have a debate, we can have a discussion. But to outright say I don't like anything, that's just, it's insulting. It's a bad faith argument. It's not even an argument, that's just a bad faith statement. So if they say that to you, you can go the route I suggested, just start listing off movies, or you can take this approach. Tabitha and you are having a conversation, she fires out the, wow, do you like any movies? Which you fire back, wow, have you seen any movies? Because now you've put them on the defensive. They have to step back into their own shell and think about it, about what you just asked them. You've seen a lot of movies this year. Tabitha, probably, probably four, probably four or five. All the big name ones, all the big brands. Some people come on my channel and they have a hard time me just saying anything negative or criticizing films at all, saying I'm not like, I don't like movies or something. Well, okay. You haven't paid attention. I love movies. That's why I, that's why I have a set of standards. That's why I have a criteria that I follow. Uh, do you criticize sports teams? Criticize uh, Coke or Pepsi? You have a stance on Ford or Chevy vehicles? You have a stance on anything? Or are you just a basic bitch that just loves everything and has no real opinions, sits on the fence? That's boring. It's pathetic. It's dishonest. Everyone has tastes. Everyone has things they like. Subjective? Sure. Objective? Debatable. But it's honest. It's genuine. And that's what makes us individuals. That's what makes you you. So again, stand by your movie criticism. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid to go against the grain as long as you can back up those reasons. Yelling out something's woke, yelling out something's trash, yelling out something's great, th those have no value. Those are nonsense. Now give me the reasons why. Give me the reasons why you think that and not because you heard it or parodying it somewhere else. Give me concrete evidence to back up your claim. And then I'll tip my hat to you, sir or ma'am. So the next time you're at a family gathering or an office party or an event coming up, maybe you're just debating someone online, maybe you can use some of my strategies. I hope I gave you a couple of arrows for your quiver, I guess is the bottom line. I'm a movie guy. People ask if I watch sports. No, I don't do sports. I love playing them. I just don't like watching them. I, it's, that's not my cup of tea. It's cool if you're into it. I love drawing. I'm decent at it. I don't do it a lot. What I do, I do movies. I do movies. Take care. Adam does movies. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews and rants each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. Maybe join me on Patreon or YouTube join via the join button. As a matter of fact, plus other perks you can get if you're at the higher membership levels. I'm a one man operation. I love what I do, but uh, you know, time is money. And there's not a lot of it going around on YouTube these days. <laughs> I also started a second channel that's just comedy skit based stuff. It's Adam After Dark. There are two to four minute ways for me to just be creative and have some fun. It's loose. It's, it's wild. It's sexy. It's not sexy. It's just me. It's just me. <laughs>